Hello, welcome back. So the story today will not be about am I the asshole. It's going to be about revenge. <laughs> Another type of drama that we love is revenge. It is a story of a guy who back in 2010, he is a video creator. Back then, so you don't really have a video creator. You don't also don't have a lot of software to do things. But he's got hired to be a video creator for a university. The his salary is not that much. It's in America two thousand two hundred U.S. dollar a month, which is not a lot. And he have to complete eighty five videos per year. Or on that year, maybe it's a yearly contract. I don't know. But the problem is that he have to work on the project alone. It's a one man team, so he have to do that alone. Editing, even like making music for the video, because the university or maybe his manager is like too cheap to um, pay for the song. So he have to compose song by himself. And I will tell you. Editing videos, recording everything you do it alone back then, 2000, 2010 is 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 crazy, you know. And he have to make eighty five videos per year. So he told that to his uh, manager that okay, this is going to be a hard job is is like really hard to achieve. But the manager get back like oh no problem because you know focusing on quality is better than quantity so give it a try so he give it a try and the manager is nice to him everything is going great even though he's doing really hard job and it's tiring but he feel like it's doing what he likes and his co-worker and everyone is like nice to him so that's no problem but after one month of him working there he was talking to manager and one of the topic that he bring up is he is a smoker and bam the manager hates smoker and he doesn't know that so he told that to the co-worker that he told the manager about the you know he be he is a smoker the friend was actually like why did you do that she hates smoker so after the after that that he told this manager that he was a smoker the manager treated him so bad start nitpicking on every single thing like sometimes he come to work late for five or ten minutes she would oh she i <laughs> i expose the manager gender <laughs> the manager would be like uh you know like why, why did you do that or complaining even though the, the work that he's have been doing, he have to do maybe four hours of overtime without pay because it's you know, his hard job doing all of that by himself. Or maybe if he came back from a, a break and the manager would complain like, oh my God, you smell like cigarette, it's not good here. And the manager hates smokers so much that she would actually advocate for the smokers to be fired from the job. Like they shouldn't be working here altogether. But then after five months of him working, or after that five months, I think like half a year, like six months after he worked, he have been called to the director's room. And he was like, oh no. When he opened the door to the director room, he saw the manager was there like, like, having the face of like disappointment of like oh my god you know the face of like this is not a good thing so his heart was like drop like oh god this is not gonna be good the director told him that okay it's have been half a year he's only completed 30 video and the contract is like 85 videos a year is already halfway to through oh my god I nearly eat the mic it's already halfway through but he hasn't even finished half of it so the guy was like have to explain that he have to do all of this you know by himself and he have to work six days a week 
overall more than 60 hours a week that should be illegal and also the guy was like yeah the manager told me that you know we should focus on the quality not the quantity so his videos are doing great on youtube more than the other video they have had so he think he's doing a pretty decent job but the director told him that okay it doesn't matter for the director the director said that 85 videos a year should be 85 videos a year and that's it he doesn't care about other things so um he get fired so he was like wait you're gonna fire me and it's already been half a year you have maybe 55 videos left who how how are you gonna finish that video because as I know, I'm the one person who doing all of this. Uh, the manager was like, oh no, don't worry, darling. We're going to hire a professional production house. And the director looked at the manager a bit weirdly. Don't, don't worry, the manager will handle it. Uh, the manager will get the job done, so don't worry. It's not of your concern now because you're fired. And at that moment, the guy was like, the light bulb coming to his above of his head. Bing. <laughs> because he's the only one making the video and he's the only one in that university to have kind of connection to the professional production house for sure that the manager don't have the connection like he does so he showed that the manager will use his uh, database or the contact list that he has so before he went home he makes sure that to mess up that contact list, put random emails and random mobile phones, mess up every contact list except one company, one production house that he has a friend there, which is a junior director in that production house. And he's like calling the friend, I have a plan for you. That's going to benefit the both of the both of us. He knows that a manager will call the production team because the manager can only contact that production team because the other thing will mess up. So he um, talked to his friend and said like, okay, I will train you. I will train you guys on whoever talking to that manager about, you know, how to get, how to get that job. Like 100% you'll be, you will be able to get the job up from that university. I will tell you how in the return, He's asking for 50% of the introduction, what is it called? Introduction fee or something? Standard introduction fee, I think. Standard introduction fee. And he reminded us that the production house back then was very, is very, was very pricey. Because on one video, they have multiple people because they're you know, very professional to work on one video. So they would be able to work you know very fast maybe three days and then he can produce one they can produce one video or something but they would have to pay a lot so the job would be very very pricey like six he said state that maybe six digit number yeah that's pretty pricey so um the friend agree because it's gonna bring a lot of money into the production house the manager was like so surprised that the production house know exactly what the university wants so they uh, signed a contract together and the production house is on the work they're working uh, they able to finish 50 videos uh, within four months which is very fast very fast but the university have to pay 100 times the monthly salary of the guy so his monthly salary is 2200 us dollar times 100 they have to pay in 220 000 us dollar that's fucking crazy for 50 video and our guy get the uh, the 50 percent of that payment which is he get <laughs> 33,000 US dollar, which is equal to 50 months of if he worked there for free, kind of for free, because he said like, he don't have to do anything. He don't have to work. He's get the introduction fee. 
so he can further his uh, education and you know like don't have to work anymore so he can focus on study and also save up for his vacation and everything so it's it's pretty good it's kind of sweet revenge and he thought it's gonna end there but it's not there is more <laughs> oh my god so after that of uh, after that for quite some time while he's on vacation in bali mm, such a sweet vacation <laughs> he got a call from his colleague the colleague that's you know like a uh, face palm and then like oh my god why did you told why did you say that to the manager the colleague has called to update and it was like updating each other life and the colleague was saying oh by the way the manager got fired and the director got like scored a lot by the chancellor of university the reason the manager got fired because the manager has approved the payment to the production house without the director approval because the manager want to be like you know oh yeah i can get the job done but it's a lot and actually the budget that the chancellor or the university set for this projects was only worth like a year and a half of his salary or of the guy who posting this salary you know so it's about 39,000 US dollar but the manager has spent only on the production was $330,000 that's like 10 times 10 times over the budget by the way his friend also get like a very fast promotion to be a full director of the production house as well. Everyone is having a good time except the manager and the director. So uh, hope this sweet, sweet revenge have give you guys a sweet, sweet dream. See you in the next video. Bye bye.